It's big. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel. I'm a self-proclaimed highlight addict <laughs> and today we are going to be reviewing some more highlight that I really didn't need. <laughs> like literally I bought three of these guys, who needs three? <laughs> So today we are going to be reviewing the brand new Beauty Bay Jelly Glow Highlighters. So obviously you can only buy these from Beauty Bay because they are a Beauty Bay product. They are £6.50 each so they're not too expensive. I thought I'd put them to the test today to see which one is going to be best for my skin tone because obviously I am very fair. And also I'm going to be testing it on a set base and also a non-set base. So this side has no powder on it. It's kind of making me go a little bit crazy because my concealer is creasing so bad right now. <laughs> but I've set this side so that's why my face probably looks a little weird because I've got blush over here and I don't over here because otherwise I'll be putting powder but it's all in the name of science okay <laughs> but I'm super duper excited I want to finish off my face I feel naked without highlighter on right now I need some dimension okay I look like a round ball <laughs> but before we go any further with the review if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button to join it's free I review a lot of makeup on here I'd really like to reach some more people out there who are like-minded so if you're someone who likes makeup reviews or makeup videos or just sparkly things in general then why not subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200 people and it's only March so I'm hoping maybe we can make it to 500 by the end of the year. But yeah, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this review. I really want to get some highlight on. Beauty Base, this is a individual gel textured highlighter suitable for all skin tones. Obviously that depends what shade you buy because <laughs> the formula can't be for all skin tones. All skin types maybe but yeah. Anyway, it's supposed to deliver a lustrous prismatic finish. It can be applied to the eyes, cheeks, or anywhere else you want to sparkle. It says to build the innovative formula to create a blinding highlight or create a soft sheer glow with just one swipe. Okay, so I'm going to be wanting to build it up. <laughs> Hopefully, if it doesn't show crazy texture or anything. Apparently, it's a game changing highlighter. So let's get into the colors. So I have three colors right here I have the shades Shimmering Stardust, Starlight Sparkle, and Sunbeam sunrise on the website they did look a little bit different in tone and shade honestly looking at them like side by side in the actual packaging they look pretty much the same <laughs> i do quite like the packaging it's like a frosted plastic with a matte black top it's quite cute and then it's got the holographic logo so i'm just gonna open one randomly this is sunbeam surprise wait did i say sunbeam sunrise earlier it's sunbeam surprise got a stopper i quite like that actually Ooh. Why did I automatically smell it? <laughs> it doesn't actually smell of anything. It looks like a whipped consistency in there, which is intriguing because it was supposed to be like jelly. I thought it was going to be like wiggly, but there's no wiggle at all. <laughs> I'm just going to feel this one. It's very thick. It's more like a mousse than a jelly, but there's like, there was like chunks in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there's a little bit of chunkage going on. Why did I say that word? <laughs> That's gross. That one looks pretty. It is probably going to be too dark for my skin. If I like layer it over blush, it'd probably look okay. Very golden highlight. As far as like sheen, it is very, very sheeny. It's not like mind blowing. The consistency is just a little bit weird. So I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit, I think. Let's go into the next one. This is Shimmering Stardust. Um, it's gonna look exactly the same. Come on, don't play me now. Okay, so this one has a little bit more of a rosy color to it, but side by side, they look very, very similar. I guess Sunbeam Surprise is a little bit more icy, maybe. Okay. <laughs> So I have a feeling this one's gonna be too dark for me to use. You know what this texture reminds me of? I think it was Maybelline Matte Mousse Foundation. Does anybody remember that foundation? It was it was the jam back in the day. <laughs> okay, so Shimmer in Stardust is a little bit more bronzy. Like next to each other, they hardly look any different. It's a very, very pretty colour. These do have a slight dark cast on them on my hand. Again, if I maybe laid it over blush, it would look okay. But so far, they're all running a little bit on the dark side. Darth Vader would be like, why am I so uncool? <laughs> and then the final one I've got is Starlight Sparkle, which looks like this. I'm hoping this one's gonna be okay on my skin. I'm gonna show you them next to each other. They just look so similar, like side by side. It's a bit ridiculous. Let's see what this one looks like. This one looks a little bit lighter in colour so hopefully I'll be able to use this one. And this one has a slightly more icy gold reflect in it. It's right on the end there. It kind of blends in my, my skin but it still has a dark cast. 
Hmm. So I think I'm gonna go in with this baby. So now we've gone through all the swatches and decided on the color. Let's zoom you guys in so we can see what it looks like on the powdered and the non-powdered side. Which side will it go better on? Hello. My concealer is looking so bad on this side not being set, so I apologize. <laughs> I'm just creasing up like a mofo. Also, I've been testing out looks to kind of do for prom tutorials. So what do you guys think about this? It's kind of like a cool tone. Very simple look, but I think it's pretty. I don't know. Would you guys wear this to prom? I probably would. Let me know if you'd want a tutorial on it by giving it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. <laughs> anyway, enough self promo. Let's get to this baby. So again, this is Starlight Sparkle and it's the lightest one out of the group that I bought. There was a lighter one, but it was like a holographic one and I'm just not into that vibe. I want something that's wearable. So first of all, I'm gonna put it on the unpowdered side. So it's literally just my foundation. It's a little bit tacky, but nothing crazy. I use the CYO Life Proof Foundation and also a mixture of the Fenty and the e.l.f. concealer. For contour, I use the CYO Contour Sticks. So it's also a cream-based product, but Anyway, we're just not set at all over here. They say that you can apply this with a sponge or a finger. I think personally with these kind of products, I always use my finger just because it helps it warm up and meld more into the skin. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's very chunky <laughs> on my finger when I pick it up, like very, very chunky. But let's not judge it. Um, so again, this is the unset side. Let's go in. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm sorry, buildable who? <laughs> okay, I guess it is kind of shearing out as I pat it in, but dang, that looks really pretty. Is it giving me a dark cast? I don't think it is. Awesome. It is a little bit chunky. It hasn't completely molded into my skin. Not the way a kind of jelly liquid highlighter would. I definitely feel like the formula, because of its whipped consistency, it just doesn't give the seamlessness that a gel would. It's not emphasizing any texture. I'm gonna try building it up a little bit more because I want it to be like a little bit more blinding. And for the sake of the product, let's see how well it also builds. Because of the way it picked up on my finger, it just is looking like a little bit flaky. Not like I've got a stripe of glitter or anything. It's just little kind of particles that have kind of separated a little bit but the actual reflect itself is really pretty so now i have kind of patted it out and worked it into the skin a little it has dulled down a little bit so i'm actually going to try it with a sponge let's try building it up this is one that i used earlier for my makeup let's see how it picks up on the sponge actually i'm intrigued it's not really eh. it's not really going together i'm gonna like have to like pick it up but it's gonna chunk i know it is because of the consistency it's not really picking up on my sponge okay i got a little bit i had to kind of dig in the product a little bit Ooh feels almost wet now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the product because my sponge is kind of drying out. Ooh. I actually prefer this with a sponge. It just smooths it out really nicely. And also you get less of that kind of chunkiness, which is weird because usually with products like this, if you use a finger, it really melts into the skin, but I actually prefer it with a sponge. I do, however, feel like that didn't make that much of a difference to the actual impact of my highlight. I'm gonna go in with another layer with the sponge because I wanna beam, guys. I wanna beam. Okay, so it has built up quite nicely. I am getting a slight cast by here, but it's nothing crazy. Even though I've done three layers, there's no texture issue. I wouldn't say it's the most, you know, beaming highlight out there. Maybe I would use this as like a base because, well no, actually it's pretty much dried down to like a powder feel. Whoa, how weird. And there's pretty much no transfer to my fingers there, what the heck. So I'm intrigued to test this over powder, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna do the same first of all, so I'm gonna use it on my finger first and then if needs be, we'll use it with a sponge. So let's go over here. Oh, again. It just chunks up on my finger. It just goes on very glittery with a finger. It just looks like I got glitter all over my cheek. Which you know, some of you may like, but I personally just don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in once again with my sponge and see if it's gonna go over any differently. I haven't found my finger that it's really made a difference. So it's layered over the powder quite well. It hasn't bunched up or anything. If anything, I feel like it has more of an impact on powder. It hasn't blended out as much as it did on the not set side. Kind of a bit meh. Over here and then over here it's like bam. But let's just try it with the sponge. I've loaded it on here. Again, so weird. It feels very wet on the sponge, but not on my finger. How weird. One thing I am noticing over here is it is looking 
very textured. Just picking up every single bump on my skin. Let's see if I can finesse it a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now that I've gone over it a few times, it's looking a little bit better texture-wise, but not as good as the not set side. So I feel like it's kind of dulled down a lot over here. What the heck? Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this one. Like over here, you get a kind of more blinding highlight over the powder, but over here you get better texture. I do feel like it's just like dulled down on this side a lot though. Is my face eating this makeup? <laughs> I don't know. I love the color. It is still looking quite chunky on the powdered side, but I would not go out like this. Usually this is just like so lackluster for me. It just, it's a tricky one. You know what? I'm gonna try building it up some more just because I can. It says it's a buildable product. Okay, I would say it is buildable, but when I built it up on this side, it's just gone a lot more textured. So I'm gonna build it up over here again. I feel like as I'm adding layers, it's depositing a lot of color can you see that line mm. also it's kind of going a little bit patchy now no like you can quite clearly see a line of pigment now where i've built it up on this side of my face okay this product is kind of frustrating me <laughs> i'm gonna try and sort my face out and even myself out let's zoom you guys out and discuss my final thoughts on this Hoogies. Okay you guys, so I just finished up my face makeup and I just wanted to note, I had no issue blending powder over the highlight, so that is great. So if you are gonna use the product, maybe use it before you put any powder on because it does set down to a powder finish in itself. So what I would suggest with using this product is using a sponge, not using too much product, but layering, and then also using it before you put any base product on. But if you do have a lot of skin texture, it may show quite a bit as it does on this side with me. I much prefer the way that it looks like on this side without powder, which I'm glad I decided to test because originally I wasn't. I was just gonna, you know, do my base makeup the normal way and then try it on top. I don't think I would have really liked the product then, but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So what do I actually think about it? This is one of these products where I'm a bit like, eh? <laughs> like the intentions are good. It's not a bad product. If you know how to use it, then it's also not one that I'm crazy about. I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to reach for this over a powder highlight though? I don't think so. <laughs> the texture isn't what I thought it was gonna be. Again, it's just like very moussey and chunky. It's a bit of a weird one. And if you like the kind of whip consistency, then maybe you'll like this. I'm gonna try it a few more times to see if different primers or anything like that is gonna make it react differently. If I want like a base for my highlight, maybe I'll reach for this. Actually, I might see how my normal highlight layers over this. I'm just gonna use my Soph X Makeup Revolution palette. Just gonna layer this over top just to give myself a little bit more. You know, I don't think that made a drastic difference <laughs> because it kind of dries down. It's not like a tacky base. I guess I shouldn't have expected anything crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I can get this level of highlight with this palette, then I don't see why I would reach for those because this is a lot quicker and has a lot more impact. It is so textured on this side. I've got bumps underneath my skin apparently that I've never ever seen before. So the texture on the powdered side is something else, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know, have you tried this product? Is there anything that I was doing wrong? Do you have any hints or tips? Please let me know, because I'd love to be able to get these to work, because I love highlighters so much, and I want every everyone to work for me. My collection just keeps expanding. <laughs> I hope you found this review a little bit helpful in whether to purchase this or not. I always try to go through like the pros and the cons, you know, and test out a product thoroughly enough to help anyone out there that may have questions about a product. If I didn't, then please let me know and I'll see if I can answer any questions you may have. If you've made it this far in the video, then why not hit that little red subscribe button down below and the bell. That way you'll get notified of all my uploads and you'll just join this little community that we've got going here. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday here on my channel. This is like my happy place, you know what I mean? Sitting down, playing with makeup, it's my happy place. <laughs> so I hope you decide to join. I know there's millions of YouTube channels out there, but I hope maybe I'm a little bit different in some sort of way. Maybe it's my bad jokes. Maybe it's my... That's all I've got going for me, really. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, then give it a little thumbs up so I know. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking your ear off. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye guys. I am also... But I can feel... And I can't cry And I know That's the worst thing I could do Or create a shaft A shaft? A shaft? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Also I've been testing out looks on Beauty grew come through
Come on, focus. If you did enjoy and make it this far in the video, then why not hit the bed ba 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 If you've made it this far in this <laughs> If you've made it this far in the video, then why not hit the big I upload every Wednesday and Friday. No, that's not my upload dates. What am I talking about?